Okay, question number one wants us to find the stroke volume. So the stroke volume is how much blood is in one contraction. And the formula for that for stroke volume is EDV minus ESV end diastolic volume minus end systolic volume. So 60 minus 20 would be 40 ml of blood. So in this patient, their stroke volume is 40. Um, so again, number two, finding the stroke volume. We want to know how much blood is coming out of that left ventricle in one contraction. And so 70 minus 15 equals 55 milliliters. So there's 55 milliliters of blood coming out in one contraction. Question number three wants us to find the stroke volume and the ejection fraction. And so remember, the ejection fraction is the percent of EDV that is being ejected. Percent of EDV. during that contraction. Okay, so first thing we have to do is find the stroke volume. So again, stroke volume is EDV minus ESV. So uh, 50 minus 15, 35 milliliters. So that's our stroke volume. And then to find the percentage, then you take so your ejection fraction formula is uh, stroke volume divided by end diastolic volume. So you would take your 35 and divide it by 50. And 35 divided by 50 is 0.7, which again you have to convert that into a percentage. And so to do that you, multi you move the decimal two places to the right. And so the answer is 70%. Question number four, same thing. Um, here, I'll change colors. Stroke volume and ejection fraction. So first thing is uh, stroke volume. So you take your EDV minus your ESV. So you've got 50 ml is your stroke volume. Then your ejection fraction is your um, stroke volume divided by your EDV which is 80. So 50 divided by 80 is 0.62, so that would equal 62%. So 62% is your ejection fraction. Question number five is wanting us to find the cardiac output using the angiographic method. And so the cardiac output formula using the angiographic method is simply stroke volume times heart rate. So it would be 40 times 60, which equals 2,400 ml. And again, this is a good time to know what your normal uh, cardiac output is, which is uh, 4 to 8 liters per minute. So we know that this isn't in the right uh, units. Um, so 2,400 ml equals 2.4 liters per minute. Okay, question six, same thing, wanting us to find the cardiac output, but this time they don't just flat out give us the stroke volume, so we have to figure that first. So to find the stroke volume, you take EDV minus ESV, so you have 40 ml as your stroke volume. From there, you can do um, your cardiac output of stroke volume times heart rate. And we're going to assume that this is the heart rate. So 40 times 60 then is again 2,400 ml. And which is 2.4 liters per minute. 